Like normal sane people, we all start off by using normal main functions, but then someday we encounter a psychopath using the arguments argc and argv in them. It may seem really confusing at first, but it's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. So to start off, I think we should just remind ourselves quickly how functions work. When we create a function, we have the choice to choose a return type, in other words what the function will be returning when it's done. But we also have the option to choose some parameters that we are going to send into the function. These variables are temporary, as in they get wiped whenever the function is over. And the reason why we send them in is because the function can't use any variables outside of the function. With all this in mind, let's see how a program gets executed. In order to get a program to execute, we need a main function. Your operating system calls the main function whenever we start our program and then does everything inside of it. The main function is different to other functions in your program for a number of reasons. As an example, no other function can be called main and the main function needs to be called main. But one thing that makes the main function similar to other functions is that it has a return value and drum roll please. We can pass in arguments. But how you may ask? Let's look at how a file actually gets compiled. We first specified that we are using the GCC compiler. Of course there are others, but I'm going to use the GCC for this video. Then we tell those what C file it is that we want to compile. We then include the libraries that we want to use with the dash "-l", or dash "-l", arguments. And we finally tell the OS what the executable is supposed to be called with the dash "-o", argument. Now we get an executable file, and to execute it we type dot slash and the file's name. In our case, I play Fortnite 11 hours a day dot exe. But that's not all. After that we can finally pass in arguments to the function. Okay, so I think you're starting to get it now. Are you? Are you? But why do we only have two arguments in the main function, and why are they called argc and argv? We don't actually have to call them argc and argv, it's just a common practice to do it. We could also call them something like, help me, and I'm forced to make these videos or I'm not getting food tonight. The only thing to keep in mind is that the first has to be an integer, and the second a pointer to array of shores. Okay, but what are the two different arguments? Let's say we pass in 5 arguments into our program, and the program is supposed to print back the strings without any spaces. Yeah, it's a weird program, but I don't know what the f*** you're doing at home. You could be watching Fortnite skins dance at this moment. Are you? Are you? The argc keeps track of how many arguments you passed in, so in our case it would print 5... Wait, why does it print 6 when we only pass in 5? Argc prints one extra, because the first value in argv stores the address of the file that we are executing at the moment. So in our case, if we printed the first value in argv, it would print this. You can think of argv as an array that stores different pointers, so all values in argv will be pointers to strings. So to just quickly summarize, argc and argv are just arguments that allow us to send arguments to the main loop. Argc keeps track of the amount of arguments we are sending in, and finally, argv actually stores the arguments in the form of strings. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. subscribe. subscribe.